Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We knocked out the 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition doubleheader break number one. We loaded up another doubleheader, so if you want to run that back, let's do it. We got Chris Jaspie right here. Thanks to him for taking care of the last couple nights. He's going to help uh, pack stack right here. Actually, I'll... Yeah, so, he, so, so you'll see the case right here, and he's going to start ripping open packs while I do this randomizer. This will definitely help the doubleheader go a little bit more quick, quicker, quickly. Big thanks to everybody here for making this happen. And congrats again to the people who uh, won spots in that jumbo pack filler. All 30 teams are in. Let's go. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams one and a two, three times. One, two, three strikes. You're out. We got Brad down to Diego with the spot that he won. And then uh, one and a two, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. We got the Red Sox all the way down to the Guardians. All right, so here's how it shakes out. Brad. You got Boston, Anthony with my Dodgers. They're uh, playing the second game of a doubleheader right now, hosting the Diamondbacks. West with the Mariners, Matthew with the Nationals, Mark with the Yankees, Pascal with the Rays, Scott with the Royals, Sean with the Astros, and Cubs, Patrick with the Diamondbacks, Matthew with the White Sox, Sean with the Braves, Diego with the Giants, Travis with the Tigers, Sean with the Mar <laughs> both, Gilo, I'm that short and Chris is that tall. Sean with the Marlins, Aaron with the A's, Scott with the Pirates, I Capola, Grizzlebees with the Blue Jays, Travis H with the Rockies, Brian with the Phillies, Patrick uh, with the Rangers, Steve with the Cardinals, Matthew with the Reds, Diego with the Twins, Michael with the Orioles, Barry with the Brewers, Aaron with the Angels, Sean with the Padres, Matthew with the Mets, and Diego with the Cleveland Guardians. All right, so feel free to trade away. We're going to keep the video running, but feel free to trade if you'd like. One pack escaped. Oh. Mm -hmm. You can see Chris on the top camera right there. Let's bring these cards yeah, back. Please, here's step one. Is this box one? This is half of box one. Half of box one. All right. So they're a little precarious when I do a little bit more than the okay, half. Why don't so. I take this case? I'll bring this back. There we go. Well, in we'll a second. So we have a lot more space here. If you want to actually maybe put it on the screen, just for now, then you know, a little bit of a little looming, a little yeah. precautionary thing. And so we've got some. Uh, some room. We've got the rest Thank of these boxes again. right here. These aren't going anywhere. These will stay. Any trades? No? Not even a whisper of a trade. All right, trade window going once. Trade window going twice. TWC trade window closed. All right, let's print and rip. Just keep a stack with me as well. All right, so this is my first live look at this. Looks like we're looking for two autographs per box on average, as, as they like to say. And in the background will be the first box. I guess these are kind of precarious, huh? That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't like doing more than uh, half a box at a time. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll have to do that. MLB MVP. MLB MVP? If only, if only that existed. 
Um, I think the AL MVP's got to be Aaron Judge. I someone pointed out that he's actually pretty close to a triple crown. Yeah, he's only like a a point or two behind an average. He's got RBIs and home runs that, so wrapped up in power that it's not even for debate. So, I mean, definitely a lock. If um, definitely a lock if we uh, if he gets triple crown. Even if he wasn't... No, Mark, this is a 30-spot break. Even if he wasn't rolling on a home run record, potentially, at least for the AL, I think he'd already be in. He's just, he's just on a completely different planet offensively than anyone else in the league. Yeah. I mean, is is this the greatest walkier, um, walkier season a player in any sport has ever had? I don't think I I think it's we enter that territory, and I think of like, I mean, all LeBron's quote unquote contract. Yes, I feel like that's cheating. He's LeBron James. Yeah, yeah, he's LeBron James. Because there was question marks about Aaron Judge's health, you know, his longevity, how long he can play, can he consistently hit for power, blah 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 blah, but. Seems like not a problem. I like, I like a little bit of color in this first stack here in box two. I think I saw that sort of thicker card, a nice. thicker card in here somewhere as well. That'll be the patch. And they can sometimes be autos. There are a few. A few autos. autos. All right. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. First autograph is Anthony Bender. Rookie I feel like he's had a decent season. Oh, let me, let me grab that list. All right, there it is on a Tuesday, the 20th, 2022, 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball doubleheader. A two case break, random team break number one. And that's Sean Maddock, last spot mojo with the Marlins. Last spot mojo, they say 70% of the time, hits 100% of the time. And do all cards ship in this? I don't believe so. No, no vet commons will ship. So obviously that's gonna ship. That's a refractor, so that will ship. This will not ship. Now is is there a obviously in this will is there a trick for short prints? Um, or are we just looking at the backs of the cards? Maybe the backs of the cards. Okay. Seventeen is the regular short print. There's a couple dozen players who have that, and then twenty three is the super short. Gotcha. Wander, Shohei, Ken Griffey Jr., Mike Trout, and I want to say O'Neill Cruz, but I could be wrong. All right, so our, I guess we're relying on the shipping team to sort that out. All right, so thanks for that. Let's keep rolling here. That insert right here, that Luis Robert Classic insert, nice. yeah. All the inserts are very, very nice. And we've got a Jordan Alvarez piece of his jersey. Well, he numbered as well. And that will go to Sean Maddock and the Astros. Bang, bang. 80 out of 99. Rex, I saw that stat. I think he'd be the first player since Babe Ruth Aaron since Ashby. the 20s to have that big of a gap between your first and second home run leaders. 104 out of 150. Aaron Ashby, uh, Brew Crew, Barry with the Brewers. I guess you're right. Now, now, that, now that there's pretty much... You know, like there's going to be so much interleague play now. I mean, every team uh -huh. playing every team now, yeah. right? So Gilo brings up a good point. Why not just <laughs> why why not just uh, make it one award? Yeah, I don't know. That's a good Maybe point. eventually we'll see the awards just get just get combined. They've been uh, the MLB has been pushing their own little MLB awards. I think they've been pushing that most outstanding player thing. Hmm. Which. I wish every year they're not just mm. going to rename, rename the Shohei Otani Award just because right. he's, well, he should win it every single year. And he is the most valuable if you want to put it that way. We'll also do an autograph recap at the end here, autograph and relic recap. That's box one. 
of 24. Here's the next box. Bryson Stott. Nice. One of the shorter print autos. He's got some upside, too, as a player. Brian with Bryson. He has the Phillies. They love those Vegas kids over there in Philly. Yeah, they really do, don't they? Nice classic 80s design. Obviously, those inserts will ship. Refractors will ship. Commons like these won't ship. Joey Gallo Yankees edition. 199 out of 199. Okay. 199, like his, uh, his, like his average. And maybe how many homers he has in his career? I feel like he's pretty close to 200, right? He's got to be, right? Will Joey Gallo have more home runs than uh, than average in his career? Wow. <laughs> I think so. Most of the time, that's a good thing. Mike Bowman, Orioles. That'll be for Michael with Mike. That's actually true. Joe Christian says players would throw a fit. Yeah, but that, probably, that change probably wouldn't yes. happen until the next collective bargaining agreement. Some contract stuff, definitely. Right, because I think there's so many awards that are tied to winning awards. And there's our first O'Neill Cruz rookie card. That's for Scott and the Pirates. Got randomized, the Buckos. Second half of the second box. He has 176 home runs, and he's currently a 200 hitter, says Diego. Oh, there we go. And a Wander Franco? Nice. Nice. Rookie card. What, negative parallel? Yes, negative. Negative. Not numbered, but a short print for sure. There's usually one in every few boxes. That's a nice Nice. Rays. Pascal got randomized the Rays. Ooh. Nice. First of many, I hope. Yeah, so I think I think Joey Gallo might end end his career with more home runs than than average. You know, you can say that for a few guys obviously, your Albert Pool says your Miguel Cabrera, but when you're yeah. average that low. Yeah, that low, yeah. It makes for an interesting yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. But now, yeah, that's got me thinking, Gila. I wonder if in the next collective bargaining agreement they will maybe, you know, with the leagues playing pretty each other pretty much equally, right? Maybe it just becomes more like the NBA. All right, here's another box. These are half box right here, and here's another box. Half boxes. I wonder if I should move. I think most people can see. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. I'm sure they'll be in stack box right. as well. That all the packs are gone. And right. I'm open all right, so you can see what's happening. Obviously, we're not walking away with any packs or anything like that. So I'm trapped in here. He's trapped. I'm can't trapped. Go, can't friends. go anywhere. No good deed goes unpunished. No way in, no way out. A third MVP for, for G Love. I don't mind that. Keep the oh okay okay. Keep keep one keep the AL and uh, NL MVPs. The Barry Bonds MVP award. And then call it and then have a Granddaddy MVP awards and call it the Granddaddy MVP award. Nice Boba Shed. Nice shot of Boba Shed. It's not the most flattering picture of Mike Trout right here. Yeah. Just gr grabbing a, a bouncer in the outfield there. Or nothing. Like nothing beats his. I think it's 2020 where he's robbing the home run. Yeah, that was oh, a good one. Man, what a shot. Mmm, Burger. Jake Burger. Still waiting for that Jake Burger and Seth Beard dual auto. Oh, there we go. A beer and a burger. The whole meal. Yep. Um, and then what? There, there was a fry in baseball not too long. A Travis Fry, maybe? Maybe. Get get Travis Fry on there so we can have fries. There's a Luis Fry Farias, if you want to be mm, okay, a all right. for the D-backs. There's uh, Jake Berger going to Matthew Shira and the White Sox. Ooh, and a Wander Franco late 80s design wood frame classic from back in the day. Another rookie card for Pascal. 
and the Tampa Bay Rays. I'm, I'm assuming some of these can be can be numbered. Was it Travis Fryman? Yeah, get him on that autograph too. There is Kyle Seeger, Chad Dawes favorite Mariner of all time. <laughs> Kyle, I don't know if he's listening. Kyle Seeger, purple speckle for the Mariners Wesley and the M's. 174 out of 299. Kevin's wondering do, if they have a Jake Berger available to eat at the White Sox team. They better. They have to. They have to, right? Whatever his favorite burger is. Right. That's what they're selling. And there's a Rymel Tapia Fuchsia, 289 out of 399. Oh, we got some gold. Here's another, another Wander Franco. And a gold shimmer, Jed Lowry, 42 out of 50. That'll be for Aaron and the A's. Any White Sox fans out there or anyone who's been to a White Sox game, do they have a, uh, a Jake Berger burger? No, Dominic saying, wow. yeah, wow, that's harsh. But not wrong. Dominic saying uh, Jake Burger not good enough to have a menu item. He's from Chicago, as well, and they do not have a Jake Burger burger. Okay. Maybe one day. There's Luis for uh, Frias. There we go. Ooh, Grizzleby saying Judge just hit number sixty. Wow. History, folks. That's a, that's amazing. Actually, oh, man, it's got to be an LB network, right? Yeah. Regional coverage. No, they'll take a break. Oh, there it is. Man. And they're still losing to the Pirates. Uh, three out of 25 for Patrick Cox and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Wow. Just history, man. Every every game, there's something going on with Otani or Judge. Yeah, Bulls. on a fly ball to center field off of Will Crow. On a 95 mile per hour sinker. I think maybe show a replay. Not just the crazy thing about him having the, one of an all time crazy walk years. He bet on himself. Double diamond back in this dual case break. That's for Patrick again and the Snakes. Joe Ryan nice. Gold to 50. Twins. He's having a quiet little Diego. decent year, too. He was probably one time in consideration for the rookie of the year now that Jay Rod exists. I don't know about so that. So if he hit 62, do you say he broke Maris's record? Well, technically, he would break AL his record. <laughs> oh, he knew. It was a no doubter. Wow. Yeah, he knew right away. Sounds great off the bat and everything. Incredible. Oh, it's a bomb. Oh my god, it's a bomb bomb. Jeez. How far did that go? That's gotta be four, at least 430. Man. Man, oh man. Just get a little blue here coming up. Oh no, that was just the the heart of the, every the heart of the city card. The one I always is that, does that get you? I think it's uh, an orange, and it's always Joey Votto's for some reason. He's got the little sunset on the water. It looks like it's an orange. Man, it's just incredible. Another O'Neill Cruz rookie card for Scott and the Pirates. I can't wait for them to face the Guardians in the first round and get swept. And Aaron Judge hits like 429 with like four dingers, and they gave up like eight runs each game. I know, right? Does Aaron Judge have ringworm? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That would be disastrous. All right, so here's another two boxes. These are half, bo each stack is half a box. And there's Zach Plesak. Dan's nephew? Yes. 
and Stan Plesak's nephew also uh, punched the ground Lost recently. Uh, got let go by his agency. And then broke his hand. Oh, did he get let go by his agency? Because of that, yeah. Wow. It's going to cost him some money and time in the playoffs. Best wishes for the... Uh, he's a pretty decent player, 416 too. out of 499 for the Guardians. That's for Diego. Check those numbers. He's not bad at all. That's true. Mookie Betts Refractor. And there is a Romy Gonzalez. Can you hand me uh, the rest of those boxes, please? Yes. Uh, not numbered, by the way, but that'll go to Matthew and the uh, White Sox. There's the rest of the boxes going to Mr. Chris. Big thanks to him for helping us out. Oh, just spilling cards. Oh, sorry, Corbin Burns. And Yachty Refractor. He's safe. Elvis Andrews still stealing bases. Chris, what do you think about uh, the uh, any of the uh, races in div in the divisions here? Think think there's going to be any any surprises? Um, Fred Mill Reyes to one hundred nine Guardians. Just yeah, actually, they're both in the East. I would not be surprised if the Blue Jays who entered in today's game were five and a half back. I don't know with the Yankees how they've been playing. Even though they are oh. six and, they're six and four in their last ten. So oh. they're playing okay. The Blue Jays have to really turn it on. Wow. So you think happened. the Blue Jays can turn it on? They can actually take that division? The, I mean, the Yankees are losing to the Pirates yes, right now. So, Pirates. yeah, that's not, look, that's not good. It's not ideal. But the other one is also, you know, the Mets are only one game ahead of the Braves, right? Yeah, that, that race is pretty tight, too. I don't too. know how legit the Braves are. I think their record against winning teams is not ideal. They're you like... I think the Mets hang on for that, to that division? 500. Um, I would not be surprised to see a little noise. A little game 163, maybe, between Whoa. the other side uh, a division winner. Whoa. I'll, I wouldn't mind looking at those. Can you imagine squeezing in a game 163? Would it be the first one since Dodgers, Rockies? Yeah. In what, 2017, 2018? Wait, are they doing a game 163? Yeah, I mean, if there's a tie, right? Or, or is there a tiebreaker already? I wonder if there, if that was collectively bargained out. It might be, yeah. Now that I say I don't it know. out loud I, I, and put I, it into existence. I feel like... Oh, easy note saying 163 is gone. Yeah, yeah I, I remember that, that that was in my brain somewhere where I was like, I'm pretty sure 163 doesn't exist. As soon as I said it, I'm like, I don't know if that's right. So what's the tiebreaker? It's all about health for a judge, right? Right. That's yeah. Rex is asking, does he make it? Does Aaron Judge make it to 500 home runs? Here's a Jake Cousins, Primos. That goes to the Brew Crew, Barry David. He's he's a little bit older than people think he is. He kind of was a late bloomer. Mm -hmm. Easy saying, head to head record. Then, I mean, then I think... Then intra-division record. I think the Mets have had the Braves number division-wise. I could be wrong again, obviously. But I remember that one series in New York. I think the Mets... Teoscar Hernandez to, to 150. About, uh, about a month or so ago. A little bit of roughing up on my boy Spencer Strider. I mean, I think the Mets have had that number in Atlanta. And we got a Brady Singer blue, a little color match with the Royals. Those he's always having, look nice. He's having a nice sophomore He is, actually. Too, actually. Scott McLaughlin with that one. That is 136 out of 150. Yeah, Aaron Judge's age also probably prevents him from getting like a 10 year deal, right? He, uh, I mean, someone some, might give it. Someone some might, yeah, actually, it. someone might give it to him. Some team will do it. Uh, but that, I feel like that eliminates teams, like the smarter teams. I feel like the Giants wouldn't do that. I don't think the Cardinals would do that, which would leave a team like the Red Sox, like the Mets, maybe the Angels there. <laughs> oh, Str I think it's Strider at this point. Uh, he's been so good all year. Justin Turner, pink, fuchsia, speckle, 120 out of 150. 
think uh, so Anthony Stan- with the Dodgers. Spencer Strider has the quickest of 200 strikeouts in a single season ever yeah, by I, innings. I, like I kind of like Strider too. For 200 strikeouts, that's like elite. He's a. Uh, it's all the mustache. And he's got a great old school mustache. Can you imagine if Aaron Judge had a mustache? Mm. 75 mm-hmm. home runs. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But it's just that Yankees organization prevents him. They can do the stash. A little thing, a little dog. I guess they can with. do a stash, right? It's but just not below not, the lip. Yeah. yeah, that's true. They don't like it. All right, another box right Mr. here. He, that's why he was another so good this year. box right over here. Nestor with the Super Mario Brothers mustache. Right. Easy saying Mets lead Braves 9-7, but they play three more games. Oh, now those are very important games. Yeah. Casey Mize. Nice and I was, ho- I was hoping for a really nice season from him, but hopefully he'll bounce back soon. Travis Melberg with Detroit. Former number one overall pick, so you gotta you gotta give him give him another shot. He had hurt this year, yeah. He's done with injuries, I think. But he was yeah, he was he was he was too. out he's out for the season. I think a little, little, little TJ. One of my, a little off topic, one of my favorite cards from last year's archives, which comes out in November. Another Wanderer for the Rays, Pascal. It was him and his, uh, him and the 2006 Topps style, which is Justin Verlander's rookie card, which is one of ah. my favorite cards ever. That big white background. There's Alejo Lopez, rookie auto on that Aqua Shimmer. That's a nice little autograph there. 43 out of 199 for the Red Legs. We're on to Cincinnati. Matthew with the Reds. We're on to Cincinnati. And Brian Anderson, 345 out of 399. Fuchsia for Sean Maddock and the Marlins. Yeah, Strider is missing his next start. I saw that too. Luis Robert, orange, 20 out of 25 for the White Sox. Matthew. That was my other one, too. They're only four back for the Central. I mean, I think the Cardinals will hold on because of their pitching, but I don't know, man. White Sox win a few series the rest of the year. It's going to be close. Wow. Joe Christian just said Stan just walked it off with a grand slam. Wow. We're, all, we're on MLB Network, actually, so maybe they'll, they'll show that. There, there, and Judd just hit 60 like today. Like I just said, the uh, White Sox won a few series here. Jose Abreu just gets it. Base is juice now. Uh oh. No outs? Down no one out. against no the Guardians? Outs. Wow. This is a big series. Man, 60 home runs in the ninth, and Stan walks it off with a granny. Woo. Bronx is burning. There he is right there. Aaron Judge, heart of the city. Not for long. <laughs> Not for long. For this year. <laughs> and goes to Mark and the Yankees. Oh, wow. Shane McClanahan got kind of roughed up. That's good for Dylan Cease, who started this game for the White Sox. And that's a oh, base loop single. That's tied this ball game. Another Wander Franco for the Rays. That's for Pascal. Stands the big X factor on that, on that Yankee lineup, Kevin. I agree. And we got Logan Gilbert. Great start yesterday. For the M's, that's going to be for Wesley Thomas. There you go, Wes. Six innings, one earned, five hits, oh, ten strikeouts. Nice. Now, I know some long suffering Mariners fans. It's time. Um, you know, are, are always nervous about their team. But man, from the outside looking in, that's a good looking team on paper. Pretty and too. on the field. Alec Manoa. Nice. Speaking of Cy Young contenders. Yeah, I really like Alec Manoa. Ooh. Second year. Uh, so. That's Capola. That's Grizzlebees with the Blue Jays. There you go. 58 out of 499. Robbie Grossman, 2 out of 99 for Travis and the Tigers. 
There's there it is, there's Sam. Oh. Woo! Bowling. Man. <laughs> Yankees with a big win today. Judge hits 60. Giants won on Sunday. Man. New York City. Shining right now. New York football giants. Jets also won too. They did. Well, yeah. They beat ID of that one against the Browns for the time. Thank that, you, that Joe was, Flacco. That was, uh, yeah, Joe Flacco and going nuts. Joe Flacco. Just, just turning, Joe Flacco turning back the clock. The greatest QB in Jets history. I guess if you're a Joe on the Jets, I'll do it. Joe Flacco, Joe name it. That's right there. Jake Sarumuto with a... I mean... How... Wait, 18 to 11? What in the world? Yeah, everyone had the over on the Blue Jays-Phillies game, right? Oh, heck. Good job. Right. There's another box. And another box. Half boxes right here. So say Judge does win the Triple Crown. If you're New York, do you approach his business as usual and make an offer, or do you ask him what he wants? Oof. Oh, nice one there. There's Brian Reynolds. That's a million-dollar oh, question, no. Joe Christian. The defense falling Oh, no. Hard. Cleveland defense. What are you doing? Two runs score. 14 out of 199. Pirates, Scott, with that one. I mean... I don't think you can approach it as business as usual. For the if you're the Yankees, I think you kind of have to be like, "Hey, what do you want?" Right? Redemption. You kind of have to be like, "Mr. Judge, what what do you want? Name your years and terms, and we'll we'll do it." All oh, Lou Bob's. You know, but they can't come in with a weak offer again for the second time and mess that up. There's Brandon Crawford, 128 to 250. But if you're Aaron Judge, you're definitely going to test the market, right? Kevin's got the right idea. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Kevin, exactly. Well, here we go. Good luck, y'all. Congratulations. Someone, you, somebody, is due to receive a veteran autograph, purple speckle refractor. We'll see the city name first, usually, unless he has a long name. Oh, it's the same. Starts with a T, city is C. Oh, I know this is. This could be Colorado, this could be Chicago, this could be Cincinnati, Cleveland. I think somewhere in the central. C I, Cincinnati for sure. And it's Tyler Stevenson for the Reds. That's for Matthew Schrapp. Yeah, there you go, Anthony. Anthony had the right idea, wow, too. Sorry, Anthony. Good guess. Got a Gavin Sheets flipped around for no reason. They love doing that. Just to just to just to mess with us. Oh. I want to make sure sometimes these cards stick together here. They will for the jumbo. The jumbo more so, right? Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> you did one pack, yeah? I did. A couple of cards were stuck, so it's all like that. There's Longo right here for the Giants. That goes to Diego. 104 out of 350. Giants could chase after Aaron Judge. I think they're gonna give him. I think I think uh, a lot of a lot of the Giants, a lot of San Francisco has been clamoring 
for some star power out there. They've got a young team around them. There's Yoan Adon. He's a Northern California. Some wily too, vets. Right? Yeah, and he's from Northern California ish. Northern California. This goes to Matthew and the Nats. So I think that could be a place where they try to lure him back home. And be like, hey, come play for the Giants. And he'll say all the right things, right? Aaron Jones will be like, I was a Giants fan growing up. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Don't show him in the picture the picture of him in the uh, the Red Sox shirt and hat. Don't right, 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 right. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Adam Frazier, purple parallel for Wesley and the M's. <laughs> Terry. That's pretty true. 222 out of 250. Three run score. White yeah, runs. no, Terry, you're absolutely you're absolutely right. We need to see Judge with no protection in the lineup. Let's, let's see what he can do. I mean he's already got no protection in the lineup. I mean that's actually kind of true. <laughs> that Which is a repeat scenario. From coast to coast. Dansby Swanson. Sean Maddock and the Braves. Poor Ozzie Albies, right? Guy comes yeah, back from the, uh, speaking of the Braves, comes back from the IL two days later, breaks his finger going into t stealing a base, going into second. Stander and Rizzo have not been standing and Rizzo. I know Red Stan just went deep, but I don't know about that. The Giants always find a way. Trust me. Trust yeah, us. We know. Oh, no, annoyingly so, yeah. They'll find some... Their, their next market... Watch Joey and Bart figure it out when they get judged. Watch uh, Helio Ramos become Hunter Pence 2.0. I know, right? Alright, here's another box right here. Are we almost done with this case? We are. Whoa! Done with this case. Wow. We are flying. Oh, and a Wander Franco new classics insert. I don't know what these go for, but it has Wander Franco's name on it. <laughs> it looks like a cool insert. Pascal. Are we gonna, are we gonna see Wander in the playoffs? Is he is he off the razor right now? He's he's he had a two a game two doubles today. Oh okay okay okay. So he's back. He's back. He's back. Good, just in time. Kyle Seeger for Mar uh, for the Mariners. Wesley with the M's. Albies could be back for the playoffs, though. Kevin's saying if they make a run, right? There's Vlad Guerrero Jr. to 25. Love the orange parallels. Are these exclusive to Javi? Orange? Do you know offhand? Uh, mm, no, they're they're in they're in, they're in jumbo too. They're in both. Okay. Yeah, that's maybe, just the maybe that's just third lowest. Orange then red. Then our uh, that's the one we're looking for. We haven't we have not found. Have we seen a super? A super just well actually that's not true. No, that's not that's true. Like I did I think I think Teddy, Teddy pulled one Teddy out of a personal a box. That's right. Super fractor rookie auto of Luis Heal yesterday. That's our first super fractor oh, at the there show. You go, Teddy. There's Eli Morgan. Uh, 496 out of 499. That is for Cleveland. Diego, Cleveland, this is for you. Oh, what about Ira Pools? Oh, there we go. There he is. 699 for Albert. He's on 699, right? So it's like, no, he's on 698. Nick's 698. This. Oh, Aaron Miller saying they are exclusive to the Hobby Edition, the orange. Do you mind grabbing uh, this first half when you have a chance? Yeah, give me a second here. We got a Randy Otto Zarania, 244 out of 350. Fuchsia Speckle. Gold Cup. I might not be, but I think I'm pretty booked up, Rex. <laughs> Joe's looking uh, busy, busy. Yeah. I mean, if that, like, leaf metal sells out, then I'll, I'll do it, I guess. I mean, that. yeah, that's, that's a you quick tell me no, no second dual case break of Bobby Frank tonight? I don't think we're, we're going to do that. I'm going to grab this one real quick. I think Nick said, Nick actually said we're not, aside from the chrome that's already on the site, I think we're going to wait until we... I'll figure things out. With, yeah, okay. with the silver packs before we start loading up some more. I think that's fair. 
All right, now Terry's saying, I think I've pulled J Warren from Jumbo. I think I have as well. I think hmm. I've Maybe not, I don't know. There's Shane Bieber, flipped around. Oh yeah. Nice. There it is, black and white. This is the, this is the final box of the first case. And we're working on the second case right now. Big thanks to Chris for hanging out with us and helping pack stack this. This helps us squeeze in as many breaks as we can tonight. Still, still fulfilling my, my young boy duties. And pack stacking. Stacking them packs. We got Alejo Lopez again for the Reds. That's right, Chris is the real MVP. No, Terry's like, no, he's right. Orange is hobby exclusive. Orange is the new wow. exclusive. Well, orange is the new exclusive. Another Alejo going to Matthew and the Rojos. And there's Max Kranich. Just a, Just a base hit. Come on, Albert. Just adding to that. He was never that good. Not, not low Kranich. Not medium Kranick, but we're talking Max Kranick. Pirates with that purple purple speckle that is for a Scott. And there's Curtis Terry. Is he going CT2 here? Is that his number? I think so. Hmm. I don't know. Curtis Harry may need to prove himself a little bit more before he give himself, uh, gives him that, right? A little CT nickname? He's still Curtis Terry. Patrick with the Rangers. Nick Jaspi made fun of me a number of months ago. Maybe at spring training. I was like, oh, and then we got CT3. And he's like, does, does he get... CT3 treatment? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Chris Taylor gets that. It's the guy right there. He's like, no, Nick's like, no, I don't think so. Put in the first, Terry. You know, he, that's like, you know, Kevin Durant gets KD, right? Yeah. Chris Taylor doesn't get CT. I was like, all right, fair, fair, fair. All right, and there's Dodgers edition of Albert Pujols. Right. Um, and you know what? Let's let Chris oh, work wow. on some boxes here. I'll open a box here. Look at that. Appreciate it, Joe. No worries. No worries. We'll, we'll let you build up, build up a, a stack of stacks for us here. The hobby definitely, I think, uh, at least from a showing card perspective, a much easier rip than the jumbo. Jumbo's a little more difficult. Oh well, the jumbo, the just because of the pulling. Yeah, the the the, the sticky card situation. Sticky card situation. I don't really like. Well, just the four cards in the hobby. I've noticed. That wow, really Terry, good. that's a hot take. Dodgers assign Aaron Judge. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Man, I suddenly we're walking an outfield of. I mean, where would you? God, three great defensive outfielders: I mean, I guess, Belly, Judge, and Mookie. I mean, I think that means you're not re-signing Belly. Which means they're not re-signing Trey. Well, I think he, that I means think he has. See the priority here. You got to sign Trey. Turner. He's so good. I mean. He's the perfect fit for this team. Right. These nerds who care about defense. Right. I mean, we're talking Mookie. Is, is, is this what it's like being a Yankees fan? Mookie, Trey, Trey. Yeah. Yeah, right. Cody gets DFA'd, I think. I think he, uh, we outright him. I don't think he's uh, worth the money that he wants or that he's going to get paid from the arbitration. Right. Cody's arbitration is will probably be... 15, 14, 15 million dollars, even with this season. Someone's going to pay him. Cody probably wants the year somewhere, right? Three three or four years somewhere. Some not good team will take him. He's still a weak center field guy. And right. If he figures it out, I mean, you have the, the upside is there. The yeah. Season. Cody the Diamondbacks? That's, I was just That's saying, actually probably a team kind of like interesting. That. They've got so many outfielders, though. I think they want to give time to guys like Corbin Carroll. Right, like I could, yeah, I'd rather give that time. Kind of give that time to Corbin Carroll. Although, that's I, yeah, he do, is he is from there. They do kind of need a first baseman. 
if they if they trade Christian Walker with oh, the put him back yeah. put him back on first. I wouldn't be too surprised. Maybe that's what he needs though. Just you know, stay close to home. Change of scenery. Good support system with friends and family. Joe Ryan, 259 out of 299. Twins, that's for uh, Diego. And we got an O'Neill Cruz. Oh, nice. Very nice. Woo! Pink or fuchsia, I think they call it here. Fuchsia Speckle. If you want to be a, a fister, I think it's technically magenta. Magenta <laughs> Speckle. I had to correct myself on that. 232 well. out of 350. This is the kind of stuff we want to see, Scott. Very, very nice. Nice. Case two starting off pretty hot. And we got Ivan Castillo for the Friars. That'll be for Sean Maddock, who got the uh, got the Padres in this randomizer with the filler spot that he won. Not yet. I mean, keep it close, though. Keep that bell close. I think we're doing. You never know. Greg's saying we all know that uh, that the Cubs will get Judge Turner and Otani, and they'll st and they'll still lose games because there's no pitching. <laughs> Telling me that uh, that would be what the Cubs will Marcus do. Marcus Stroman isn't the answer. Yeah, they'll be like, uh, we can just we, this formula works all the time. We can just hit our way score into 15, wins. Give up to yeah. score fifteen. Yeah, that works. That's a great formula. That works all the time. Is that is that wig apparel or no? It looks too blue for my liking. Ooh, a little too blue. Am I correct? I am wrong. No, you're right though. It looked like <laughs> unless the numbers on the front. Not a bad. Still ships though. We'll take that for the Royals. That's the wit you're looking for from the Royals, right? That's the wit we're looking for. <laughs> Mom, can we get wit? Can we have McDonald's? We have McDonald's at home. Luis Gill, old Gill. For Mark and the Yankees. I think that might have been the last time, Terry, that they were known for pitching. In the Kerry Wood, uh, Kerry Wood, uh, Mark Pryor years. All right, here's a half a box. Second half. Here's a box. And the other half. Gosh. Aaron Judge would come to KC, be the and be with Patrick Mahomes. Wow. Because that's the only incentive of the Royals. What if Aaron Judge did shock the world and it was just like, yeah, I'm going to go to Kansas City? Hey, guys. It's me, Aaron Judge. <laughs> I have chosen to take my talents to Pittsburgh. I'm going to be a pirate. Ooh, what do we got here? Some lava. And it's Angel Zerpa. Those lava parallels look real sharp. That's going to go to Scott and the Royals. Another little color match there. I'll take that. Goose is in. 132 out of 150. He was I think he got his, uh, was it 400 saved with the, uh, with the Cubs? I'm pretty sure all ball players known as Goose are in the Hall of Fame. Goose got, is there another Goose I'm missing? <laughs> I think there's one more Goose. <laughs> Which leads to the joke, hey, name your kids Goose and their right, chances of becoming a Hall of Famer. Trey Mancini, nice. Nice. Or in Italian, that might be Trey Mancini. Trey Mancini. I think the C's are like that in uh, they are. In, in Italy. But here, Michael Osia, Trey Mancini. Yeah, let's get a low number going here. 
single digit. Let's get, yeah, let's get an out of five, little train whistle number. Out of five and under, get the world famous. I haven't done a train whistle on a break today. All right, we got some green. Franmil Reyes, seven out of 99. Verde going to Diego and the Guardians. How many Rexes do you think there have been in Major League Baseball, Chris? There's Rex Hudler? Yeah, Rex Hudler, who does some analysis for the Angels Network, I want to say. He's or a, used to. Yeah, he probably used to. He's yeah, a, oh, yeah. not very great. That's right. I think he got... Yeah. That's right. No, it's all coming back to some me. Some people yeah. are not good at their jobs. Um, any other Rexes? Rex, do you have any other Rexes out there in Major League Baseball, past, present? El Cano, what, what, do, you, what do you mean? Yeah, reliever for the Rockies, I think, at one point. He was pretty good. A high, high, high strikeout for nine. Take some well-earned vacation days, and people are just like, yeah, he's retiring. <laughs> I can't wait to retire. Can you imagine if you would took your vacation Man, I, right I, after you finished training? I mean, people would lose their minds. Yeah, if, if I took a few days off, they'd be like, <laughs> what's going on? There's Alex Wells, Orioles. That'll be for Michael Losia. Tim Anderson. Uh, Safe. Infield single scores a run. Oh, what am I doing here? What am I doing? O'Neill Cruz Refractor? Very nice. I was like, you've seen a lot of the base cards. We saw that nice parallel. How about it's a good old fashioned refractor? There's one right there. That's Scott with the Buckos. And a redemption. There we go. I think we're due for one, man. Perhaps for Detroit. All right, congratulations. Someone, you, are due to receive a rookie autograph blue ray wave. Uh, it's not lava. They call it ray wave? Yeah. Refractor parallel. It's too many refractors to memorize. We got some guesses here. Bobby, Luis, Julio. Yeah, not Luis, because it's rookie, right? Joe Christian's correcting himself. It's A. There's only one team that could be with the city A, right? R. I. Arizona. It's mm, beer. Glug, 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 glug. That goes to Patches. Things get things get loose in a dual case rate, Chris. Yeah, pretty sure you gotta keep the things get loose. Gotta in keep a, the mojo and the energy yeah. going. I, I respect it. I just get just it. gotta keep, gotta keep people engaged. <laughs> You're in this. preaching to the choir, man. Just doing, doing something wacky. Gotta do something wacky every once in a while. Sometimes you gotta do things for your own. Energy. Yeah, yeah, Trust exactly. Me. Yeah, Brandon Belt to one ninety nine. Jeffrey, you know why they call him Jeffrey? They call Brandon Belt Jeffrey, or they, what we call Jeffrey, Jeffrey the Jeffrey. giraffe. Oh, kind of his long neck. Yeah. long neck, yeah. That goes to 166 out of 199. You ever watch uh, The Land Before Time, Chris? When I was a child. Mm -hmm. Remember what they called the brontosauruses? The long necks. Oh, ballsy. He's out. Oh. Gutsy call here. Let's see. They're going to review it. That's potentially a tie game here in, wow. in Chicago in the south side. That's a good question, Kevin. Oh, is Seth Beer is Seth Beer good enough to have his own beer? <laughs> he was at one point. I'm pretty sure that April. Is there a Seth Beer beer? Whatever, whatever it's Bud or Bush Miller. Maybe he's a role model. Man. There's O'Neill the Cruz. Some Seth Beer beer specials. No, he's safe. That's safe. His the hands beer, up. The beer garden? Oh, yeah, maybe like a Seth beer garden? He's safe. He's safe, actually. He gets his hand hey, under. That, that left hand is right on the plate. As that. But they went for a challenge earlier, and they don't have it. Oh, boy. Wow, that's a, that's a tie game in Cleveland. Well, the runner on Seth Right, maybe, a, maybe some Seth root beer for the kids. Oh, very nice. A little Seth root beer float. 
Would Seth Beer be a be a Pilsner stout. IPA or Stout? I've seen that guy. He's a Stout. Is he a Stout? Yeah. Seth Beer, height, weight. He's six three. That's generous. Six three two thirteen. That's generous. <laughs> yeah, I think he's a little bigger than two thirteen. I mean, when they right? signed him, maybe. I, I think I think he's maybe. a Stout, El Canon. I think he's a Stout. Maybe he's a little summer shandy. Well, summer shandy. It's refreshing. My dad says. Spencer Strider. We were just nice. talking about. Oh, is that a... Anything nice here? Nothing nice yeah. here? Seth Beer. Uh, Spencer Strider. O'Neill Cruz. O'Neil Cruz stole Magenta. Speckle. Yeah, and a Spencer Strider. That, game right now, that, that might be just a smudge right there. Might be able to man, clean that up. That's Sean Maddock and the Braves. I didn't want to mess around with it now, but might be able to take a little, like an eyeglass cleaning cloth. Might be able to, to take because it, does, cause it doesn't look like a scratch. Oh yeah, that would have been crazy. Oh my the God. fact that they came back in the night. For real. Well, they down five, six? Yeah, they're down like five. Crazy. Or four, actually. They're down four because I think yeah, they yeah. one and then it was a down one. So the AL record is 61, right? Yes. There's Spencer Watkins. Would you rather have Aaron Judge's 60, catch Aaron Judge's 62nd home run? The record breaking, Pools, AL record breaking home run, or Pujols to 700? I think it's Pujols to 700. Is it Pujols to 700? What does everyone else think? 396 out of 499. Orioles, Michael Losia. I do, I do enjoy a brat. A little bratwurst. Hot yeah, we were just talking about that, Terry. I think so. I think so. I think Huddy was asking, is it Strider or is it uh, Michael Harris? But I think it's looking like Strider. There's Juan Soto to 99. Edition. Strider, what uh, what Aragon was uh, originally called. Strider, a ranger from the north. 95 out of 99. That's the kind of trivia that I deliver there. That's true. You know, before he was revealed as the true king of Gondor. That's pretty true. You know, I mean, he was he was trying to run away from his uh, his true calling, his true past. But sometimes you just gotta just do like it for, uh, the, for the good of Middle Earth. Just like what's his name in Power of the Rings. That's our our, our right. The Aragorn the uh, of Aragorn. the of the Southlands. Of this, he's the king of the Southlands. Yeah, but we know that's gonna be sad times because the Southlands. Oh, well, that's gonna be a rough one. Is, right is, there, is right where is where is Mordor basically? Yeesh. E spoiler, spoiler. What if he? I think everyone. They, knew that. I mean, they've been kind of alluding to it, right? No spoilers here. It's a prequel, but it's I mean, a prequel. I mean, people should I mean, people should know that. They've said now. that. Um, what's his name has taken on many names before. Yeah, yeah. What if he? Oh, uh, could he? Uh, what if he is? Yeah, he could be Sauron, the Dark Lord. He's There's Greg Diegman. He's a babe, you know. Oh, I mean, we always love people. The, uh, people often say that the uh, that the devil wears many disguises as well. This is for uh, Sean Maddock and the Cubbies. Does Gonsolin have the... No, I think they're giving... They're probably going to give the NL Cy Young to... Uh, to a Marlins guy, right? Sandy Alcantara? Yeah. He's been roughed up a couple times. You know mm, who so. I wouldn't be surprised if they give it to? Here's Francisco Lindor. I'm almost certain that that Matthew is... Matthew Shira. A short print. It's got to be, right? It ends in 17, yeah. That is a short print. Oh, that's so they nice. flip the short prints around for you. That's Sometimes nice. they don't. Oh. No. But that's a nice one right there for the mess. There we go. Max Krennic. Here is Cutter Crawford. What's his, what's his main pitch? You think? No, it's not even. I don't think he even throws a cutter. You don't think he throws a cutter? I think I've. Come on! I don't think. 126 out of 150. A uh, blue here. ray wave for Boston. That's going to be for Brad and Boston. I think we are looking for the wrong. Not a. Doesn't throw a cutter. I That's, think we're looking at the wrong Dodger for Scion. I think Julio may steal it here. He's you been, think Julio Urias will... Yeah, he's been... Oh, boy, that kid's good. Well, huh? Yeah, I guess Alcantara struggled a little bit. And else, let's go to the NL Cy Young odds. Now, obviously, Vegas does not will not indicate what uh, 
what the wacky baseball rides of America are going to do. But yeah, Sandy Alcantara, as of early August or early September, September 4th, Alcantara was minus 450 to win the NL Cy Young. Now that's down to minus 275 with Julio Urias climbing to plus 650. Ooh, plus 650? That, yeah, the market has changed quite a bit. I think it was plus 1,000 like earlier in the month. Here's Jesse Winker. I wink into the camera every time. Dude. Keep a gold chain on his neck. Jesse Winker for the Reds. Reds edition to 50. He was the uh, the king who would be promised. Julio has been supposed to have been that guy for a long, long, long time. Long time. Wait, what is it? Long time. <laughs> long time. Long time. Now that is a name I've not heard in a long time. Long time. Can I have the last of those boxes when you are done? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Take them away. Long time. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. Long time. Strike? That's a great, that's a good pitch right there. You like Gonson? Gonson's odds are like 40 to 1, plus 4,000. Which is still, I mean, that's, well, that's still pretty good. Julio I, I, has one, one, one rough start. That's all it takes for a guy to fall out of the race. And Tony stays yeah, Especially uh, a race at this this close. Tony stays Tony Gonson. Odds are double for all this. All right. Gilo's saying Aaron Judge has the triple crown now, according to Bleacher Report. Wow! So he, so someone in, someone ahead of him must have gone over. I think it was Arias and Arias, Arias, and, yeah, the Arias, and then there was one other guy ahead of him. And then I guess Judge's home run was enough. He was he had like one for three. He got walked a couple times. So he might have been one for three. There's John uh, Heasley. Heasley? Heasley? Heasley. Halsey? I believe is related to uh, Ryan Heasley. Hmm. 52 out of 199 for the Royals. Scott with that one. Halsey? Next up, Halsey. Oh, my, my, my. Oh, my, my, my. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's Halsey, right? In that song? The I BTS actually song? do not know. I uh, really like Halsey. Connor Wong. You don't like Halsey? Uh, for Boston, that's gonna be for Brad. Brad in Boston. Look at the big brains on Brad. What movie is that from? I know. Is everyone else? Not everyone's got to know, right? The people have. To. The people have to know. The people. It's Kevin Smith. I feel like I want to click on that autograph until the four squares will come up right here. The QR code. Well, no, like in a. And then just kind of oh, stretch that, stretch yeah, stretch that autograph out. Because I feel it's a good, like it's a good autograph. It just needs to be a little bit bigger. Just got to use the canvas. Kevin, use the canvas. That go that uh, autograph goes to I Capola and the Bluebirds. That's right, Pulp Fiction. There you go. There you go. Halsey is in that song. Uh, we don't know Chris Maxwell, but we do have, we've acknowledged the situation on our social media, at Jaspies Breaks, or Zach Wheeler for the Phillies, Brian Crouch. As soon as I know, I will let you and everybody else know. A little bit of a hassle, though, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Wander Franco for the Rays. It happens, Terry, but they're making it right in the best way they can. Yeah, Chris. I mean, <laughs> we just got to roll. We just got to roll with it. 
the way the way we see it, you know, there's there's really no point in like kicking dirt. You know, now now we just let's go with what we got and we'll do do with it what we can, the best we can. Yes, sir. I'm keeping all the silver packs so I can sell them underneath the bridge. <laughs> I mean, if this business goes south, then we might have to. Joe with the trench coat on. Right. Hey, hey, kid, you want some silver packs? Reaver San Martin. Reaver? Reaver San Martin? I would say Reaver. Reaver? Reaver San Martin? That's a rookie auto for the Red Legs. That goes to Matthew Sharap. And we got Miggy, Miguel Cabrera, 240 out of 350. It's, it's quite a career when you're when you're when the font on the back gets that small. You gotta squeeze all his stats in there. Nice one for the Tigers, Travis. A lot of italics, a lot of red ink. I thought it was uh it's pretty good. Did the Rockies have a closer named Rex? Yeah, I was wondering yeah, how Rex Brothers. Oh Rex Brothers, yeah, that's right. Which Rex shot it out? I'll do credit with That's right, that's right, yeah. Rex did shout that out. Any any other Rexes in the uh any other Rexes out there? Hey, CT3. CT2 <laughs> and now CT3. We got CT2. Here's CT3. Purple parallel for Anthony. Got randomized my Dodgers in this dual case break. 87 out of 250. He's been struggling a little bit lately, but hopefully he'll make his way back to doing what we know he can do. Postseason Chris Taylor is a different That's true. Postseason Chris Taylor is pretty good. Oh, he just struck out his terror. There's young Carlos Dan. Had a walk-off granny not too long ago. 62 out of 75. And that will be for... That's for Mark and the Yankees. Diego can't get the get Rex Grossman for the Chicago Football Bears out of his head. Uh, Jim Harden reminding us of old Rex Barney for the Dodgers in the 1940s. Wow. I do remember listening on the wireless to Vin Scully and Red Barber talking about old Rex Barney. Remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, Rex Hudler's with the Royals now, apparently, what Kilo is saying. Yeesh. 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 Rex Rex Roth is a, uh, a character in, a, in a, the Coen Brothers movie, Intolerable Cruelty. Rex Rex Roth. It's also Rex Ryan, if we're switching. That's true, sports. yeah. If we're just going to go all sports, Rex. 2021 Prison Football Rookie Card, Rex Ryan. My favorite rookie card of all time. So random, so completely out of nowhere. Yeah, I, I just turned 84 recently. Um, there's MJ Melendez. Nice. Nice. Okay. Possibly future uh, future Salvador Perez right here. This goes to Scott and the Royals. 184 out of 199. <laughs> the Mighty 690. I do remember the Mighty 690. From Baja to the Canadian Rockies, the mighty 690. I'm Lee Hacksaw Hamilton. I want to talk sports with you. Those are the wild days of the 90s, Chris. 90s sports talk radio. Oceanside. Wow. That's a Royals Royal personal Fox. box right there. Angel Zerpa going to Kansas City. That's for Scott. Encinitas. El Cajon. Chargers fan, show me your lightning bolt. <laughs> yeah. Just had a, he had one of those, you know, like talk radio, sports talk radio is a little more loose now, but that though, he was the kind of guy that that had like this tight script. He was going to hit this and we'll do like, 
we'll do Hacksaw's top five at the top of the hour. And like, it was just a very strictly regimented show, and they'll take calls. My favorite is, uh, the only really, like, Corbin Burns from 199. Sports person radio I know is, uh, Mike Francesca for the uh, yeah. New York sports guy. That dude's really fun. Classic. There's a great 30 for 30 on him in, uh, the Mad Dog Ugh. in the 80s. Where, well, that's kind of where sports talk radio kind of started. Yeah, was out there, and then I think the West Coast wanted a version of that, and so the program director in San Diego turned it turned that AM six ninety into like one of the biggest sports talk radio stations out was, here uh, on the West Coast. It's where uh, Jim Rome got to start there, ugh, ugh. and, and uh, Mason Ireland, where I, I think were, were there from in San Diego too. There's a very funny story. Joey Votto to 399. Magenta, Reds, Matthew. That, that resurfaced for me the other day. He uh, he was taking a call. It was the day that Stan Lee passed away, and someone's like, uh, uh, "Hey, Mike, uh, Stan Lee just passed away an hour or so ago. Do you have any stories you ever meet, Stan?" He's like, "Stan? He's like, who who was who was that?" He's like, he's "This like, is Francesca." And, yeah, and the caller is like, "Are you serious?" And then hangs up. Yeah, he asked the producer, who, who, who was Stan? Who was Stan Lee? Uh, Stan Lee, he was the creator of a lot, a lot of Marvel characters. Ah, oh, who cares? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> Anthony Hall. <laughs> Mike Francesca. Just the, the, two, the, the, two, two the, East Coast New Yorker for his own I'm like, ah. Oh, who cares? Miami Marlins, Sean Maddock with that one. Vic the Brick, classic. Uh, Vic the Brick, Terry, uh, I don't know if you know, but has been battling, I think, cancer. I think, I think he's got it under control now, but I think the last year or two was kind of battling with that. I think he's good now. Still, still, on, still on the radio, still uh, makes appearances on AM570. There's Zach Thompson. Rookie autograph for the fish. Another one for Sean Maddock. Shouts out Chris Everett. That's my that's that my all time guy for that. Eighty out of two fifty. Uh, the Chris Everett Jim Everett thing. What a clown. I think Rome says later on he does kind of regret that. But. Well, yeah, he got his he got his ass kicked. Good. Forget, but, uh, dude. I can't stand Jim. I don't mind Jim Rome, but uh, he's he's certainly gotten a lot more chill out, chilled out over the years. Though I think uh, I think he's just hasn't cracked TV. I think he's tried to do TV for a long time, hasn't cracked that. He just knows that his space is in radio now, and so burning with Jim Rome. Is he doing podcasts now? He's still on the radio. He they simulcast that on CBS Sports Network, the TV network. So they'll simulcast his radio show on the TV network as well. So I'll, before work, sometimes I'll I'll run into to his show on TV. I'm getting ready for work. There's a Emmanuel Class Class A Class A. He is Cleveland electric. It that goes to Diego. Oh, that kid's good. Got the save for the American League All Stars in That's the last All Star game at Dodger Stadium. Sounds like that name looked familiar. Ooh, that is a Topps Chrome Club uh, Threads relic card, Aaron yes. Nola. With the pinstripe. Right? A little bit of the Phillies pinstripe there. I like that. Yeah, at one point, Gilo, Jim Rome was like the biggest radio thing. They would do, uh, they would do, he called it something, but he would make live appearances and he would sell out like basketball arenas. There'd be like 20,000 people, people there. And, but he, he kind of, it was that, that, that moment just before social media, you know what I mean? And so where, where people were, were still like on a, whatchamacallit, 
you know, where communities were still built around like call in shows, as crazy as that yeah. sounds. So he had built this huge fan base and. First time long. Yeah, clone fan. Yeah, yeah, and they, they he would have like factions of his audience arguing against each other, and, you know, he would have like call in contests that, that, were, that would be like legendary. And so he really kind of hit the nail on the head with like fan interaction. There's Luis Frias. 8 out of 25. Nice orange parallel for Patrick and the Diamondbacks. Smack off. That's what it was. Yeah, interviews were really great too. He, he, uh, I mean, his vibe may not be for everybody, but he really did a lot of things really in, 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 a, in a pretty smart way, I want to say. He really built a big radio empire. No, his shtick's a little old. I mean, his shtick in the 90s wouldn't... I mean, a lot of things in the 90s, I guess, wouldn't work now, but... but uh, big, du big dude bro. Yeah. Condescending dude bro. But, I mean... There's Ronnie Dawson. But he's opened up on some takes over the years. He used, he used to... You know... It's ratings if you make fun of soccer back in the 90s, right? But no, I think he admits he likes watching soccer and stuff. Astros, Sean Maddock gets the Ronnie Dawson. R.I.P. Len Dawson, right? Not too long ago. We are getting there, folks. We're almost done. Is that the last box? This is the wow. last Wow. Look at that. Hour 16 minutes. This could have been a, a two-hour break. We're going to get this done in 1.30. Love it. Thank you, Chris. Huge help. Everyone in the chat, thanks. Make sure you thank Chris for helping us out here. There's Cal Raleigh having a nice season. Super I, under the radar, too. Yeah. He, I think he's leading all the rookie catchers in, like, in uh, home runs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a, with a, I he could, I could see an excellent game. Uh, I could see Cal Raleigh being one of those... Uh, being one of those catchers that maybe hits like some sort of game deciding home run or something like that. He, he I mean, offensively and defensively, he reminds me a lot of yeah, Trent Mark Grisham Randall. to 299. Hmm. That's Mike Randall, I think, is underrated too. He was a monster, man. Big OBP guy. Huge pop. I think he calls a great game. Calls a good can. game. Um, or a little bias for Yaz, but we yeah. love Yaz. Uh, me too. Um, I think he's still producing with the White Sox, right? CC also called Shohei the best player of all time. I mean, which I think he has a case for. I mean, what? there was only one other guy who could do what he did at the level that he's doing it at. Al Canone saying, uh, yeah, he used to roast soccer, Terry Terry remembers. Now, now he's, he's amenable to it. If not, mildly enjoys it. Uh, the Angels eliminated from the playoffs for the eighth straight season tonight. Great decisions like this one. Definitely. That's a, that's a fluke, honestly. You think so? He, he I don't was know, good there, in 2020. I think there are a lot of people there. Like He got way overpaid, even at the time. I mean, his contract, I guess, isn't bad now. I thought now. he should have been the There's Mitch Haniger. MVP, to be honest. The Josh Hamilton is Josh Hamilton. Mitch Haniger for Seattle out of Wesley. The Justin Upton contract extension. Oh, the Justin that, Upton that extension is was the one for sure. Yeah, there's been some pretty poor moves there. Hopefully that team gets sold to some decent owners. You know, no, I'll take that back. Artie Moreno, I think, was good when he bought him from Disney. Yeah. I think he got him to that next level past like that yeah. that cold Disney corporate level. But I think now the team's outgrown what he can provide yeah. for them now. So I don't think he really cares. I think he, I don't think he cares about fielding a World Series winning team. I think saying. he thinks he knows what to do, but I don't think That's he nice really one. does. There's Ronzi Contreras. Nice. He's got good, good stuff. Rookie auto, purple speckle, going to the Pirates. That's for Scott. Nice. Thanks, Chris. No problem, man. I want to see this one. Through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if I picked... Uh, well, it's been solid, but let's see if we can find some train whistles here. That's what I'm hoping for. We got some. We got a few oranges. Yeah. Some golds. Yeah. Yeah. Here's Take another gold, gold shimmer right here. Nice. Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Funky Muncy. Twenty-seven out of fifty. Look at that. He's just like, there you go. Someone who this is was a this is a this is a, a dinger. A big payday. There you go, Bat Boy. 
He's been a little cold, but I think see. whatever team signs him will have Anthony with the uh, Dodgers. Yeah, year. I don't know if Max Muncy's staying. Is this the last year of his deal? No, he got a one. Yeah. He got a one year extension. You're right. Yeah, he did. He's got one more. He's coming back next year. Yeah, which is great. Which I think is good. A little mid-season proof yourself. Yeah, which I think is is good for both sides. And apparently they were working on the deal before um, he started heating up again. Yeah. So I I think I think they I think they wanted to keep him. I think he appreciated that. So he says, "All right, I'll stick around for another year." That gives him a he can be comfortable with the team. He deserves it. Right, he deserves it, and then gives him a chance to like ball out next season. Yeah. And get a big payday. I don't think the Dodgers will mind if he goes out and gets a big payday. Good for him. How do how do we like Gavin Lux this year? He's been a very pleasant surprise. Yeah. He's been hitting. I think he's still top ten. Final box average, of the double hitter. Care about that. And we'll do an autograph recap after this. Best nine hitter in baseball. I think so. Well, he's like seven or eight now, right? I think Cody Bellinger is in the nine hole. Yeah, right? It's Jackson Coar. I think he's moved up a little bit in the world. Both Max Muncy's, both drafted the shortstop, both drafted by the A's, and I think both went to the year of the same high school or college. Yeah. Just, or I think it was their same birthday, something like that. Just like a, a, a comical amount of Jackson Coar. That one's going to go to Scott. Yeah. I would love to see Max. Both Max Muncy's on the same team. Both Will Smiths on the same team. Wait, don't we have Will Smith? Relief no. pitcher Will Smith? We no, have sorry, we have we have uh, we have the cold play singer. Yes, Chris Martin. Chris Martin is that? I think that's what I was thinking of. I want to say, does Dieter play a cold play song every time he comes in? Yes. I think he, he, he does, also, right? Every strikeout he'll play a different. That's cold right. Play that's song. okay. That's what that's what it is. There's Nick Castellanos, 91 out of 399. That's a great action shot of him right there. That's for Matthew and the Reds. Eddie just watched uh, Jackson Coar pitch in AAA a couple days ago. What's your uh, scouting report? I want, I want, I want, I, I, I'm imagining, yeah, I want in depth. I want, what's that, the 40 80 scale? Yeah. I want that. I want the report on my desk tomorrow. I want, I want Eddie in a, uh, Behind home plate with the uh, with the with the speed gun, yeah, man. pitch tracking. Want a little notebook in front of your lap, being like, "All right." Oh, cool. Curveball twelve six, you know, eighty six miles per hour. I want you tracking all of that. The works. The works. All right, this is the last bit right here, boys and girls. Maybe one more auto. Tyler Stevenson refractor. And Glenn, it's a Glenn auto auto. Auto auto. For the Rangers. That's going to be for Patrick, who got the Rangers in the randomizer. Got that spot from the filler. Eddie's saying uh, hit 95 96 on the fastball. Looks like a two pitch pitcher, 83 to 87 off speed. Maybe, maybe he has to work on a. Maybe work on a third pitch if he wants to be a starter. Yeah. You know, but if he can hit mid nineties on the gun, that could be that could be relief pitcher material as well. Three, three. That's right. Will Smith did hit a home off Will Smith. That was awesome. All right. And the dual case. Yeah, not bad at all, Kyle. A dual case um, recap. Got some relics. Got some orange. Got some color in the autos. MJ Melendez, a lot of rookie autos, got some Wander Francos, Seth Beer, the O'Neill Cruz Refractor, Mancini. Yeah, um, Mike Brito, I think, was the guy, the dude at Dodger Stadium with the cigar and, and speed. He passed, very interesting he passed away recently. He was he a long... One, that O'Neill yeah, he was a He was a scout for the Dodgers for a long time. Tyler Stevenson for the Reds. Alec Manoa. Yeah, a lot of nice stuff here. Yeah, Eddie Eddie is now our Jaspies Major League Baseball insider. Let's take it to sweet. Let's take it to Eddie. Wait, is that a second orange Luis Freeze? 
Yeah. Oh, no. ah. That was from the first case. Yeah. Let's look at that. Jake Berger autograph, the Wander Franco. Cool. Love that one. That one looks really sharp. Stott, Ashby, Alvarez, and we started off the first auto many boxes ago with uh, that Anthony Bender. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's a dual case break, a double header. Let's play two, as Ernie Banks used to say. Random team break number one. A uh, lot more tops Chrome in the store. I think there's some jumbo cases left that we might be able to tackle tomorrow, etc., etc. So check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. Thanks to Chris. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.